What's going on guys? My name is Mark Wagner and today I'm going to be talking to you about forming a limited liability company or LLC for your business. We're going to be talking about why this is so necessary and how you can do it yourself. Let's get into it. So if you don't know what an LLC is, it's a legal business entity. What that means is that it's separating you from your business. It changes your taxes a little bit, but the main reason why people form LLCs is to protect themselves in case they get sued, which can happen. For me, this was an absolute necessity because I'm a minor and I don't want to mess my parents' lives up if I were to screw up with dropshipping. First, let's talk about how you make an LLC. So I would highly recommend that you think of just like a general company name to put your LLC under. That way you can have multiple stores running with the same LLC and it doesn't sound weird. For me, my LLC is named Upper Hand Social, which is also the name of my social media marketing agency. I think the easiest way to form an LLC is to go to LegalZoom.com and then fill in a bunch of information and pay the money and then it shows up to your door like a month later. Now let's talk about how much it costs and when you should form yours. So it's going to cost you about $350 to create an LLC on LegalZoom.com. That's also going to include the yearly filing fee, which for me is about $200 and it's due every April. Since LLCs are so expensive, I would recommend waiting until you hit around $1,000 in revenue before you create yours. Keep in mind that like I said earlier, it does take at least a month to receive yours, so it's better to order it early and not need it than to need it and order it too late. As far as I know, there's three types of LLCs, a single member, an S Corp, and a C Corp. I met with my accountant today and this is one of the things that I asked him about. From what I understand, you should have a single member LLC until you're either hiring employees or you're making a consistent amount of money so that you're comfortable with putting yourself on payroll. At that point, you may want to switch over to an S corporation. With an S corporation, you'll be avoiding part of self-employed taxes, which are pretty major. As far as I know, C Corps are only for really, really big businesses. Alright guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know my legal advice is probably not the most reliable, but I would still highly recommend that you form an LLC or some other type of legal business entity so that you're protected if something were to go wrong. Be sure to smash that subscribe button on the way out, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,